come and explore Swaziland's top nature reserves with us. First view, some cool little colorful houses, very high up in the mountains, and we are looking for a nature reserve called Malaloche. So we're gonna get some camping done, we don't know how much it is, we don't know anything about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just gonna go try and find it and see what happens. We're driving towards Pig's Peak. And then we're going to turn right to Malaloche Game Reserve or Nature Reserve. Yeah. <laughs> so we are super stoked. We had Puma petrol station here. Yeah. Diesel is super expensive in South Africa. Yeah, we are three Rand 50 cheaper. So we are super stoked. And obviously before we leave Swaziland, we're gonna go back into South Africa. We're gonna fill everything up. 240 liters of diesel. <laughs> Aina, ouch. <laughs> Welcome to Malaloche. So we just rocked up. It's cold. It's the first thing we did. Just put some warm stuff on. Wow, it's packed well with stuff. Sun's going down. This is our campsite for the day. This is day two. What are you making? I'm not actually 100% sure, like a Mexican style mincy pizza thing. <laughs> Got some mince going. Looks like a zombie. <laughs> hey, hey, so we're at the lookout point. Jen is a bit further up there, it's actually quite far, it's a bit warm. So I'm not going to stay here long, just came to check out the falls. The one falls, she's over there, super far away. This is an amazing view behind us. We're in Maloche Game Reserve. Our vehicle is actually a bit stupid far away. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch off. I'm going to make my way back to Jen up there. I'm going to rehydrate, I'm going to take it easy on the way back. Radio. Meet Dennis. This is Malaloche's campsite manager, making sure that everything's cool and we're just giving him a lift on our way out. We're going that direction. We find ourselves another campsite. And we are pretty pooped after our after our walk up and walk down up and towards and the down. mountain, <laughs> towards the waterfall. So our legs are sore, it's, we died, it's hot, and we're actually looking for a pool. <laughs> Are you thinking about going paddling? Oh God, I'm thinking about paddling, I'm thinking about jumping in, I'm <laughs> looking for a, a tree swing. <laughs> 
even if there's hippos in there. No, <laughs> no, babes. Let's not be stupid, eh? <laughs> Because now you have arrived. Yeah, so you can book a thing, you can fly home. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hello. Yeah, oh, hi. Yeah, welcome to Nilwani. Nilwani. Okay, cool. The main Nilwani. Camp. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So you'll see Steph do this a lot. This is a sign of respect in Africa. Tell us. So we've got our guys going to show our campsite. I forgot his name. But he virtually went 50 meters down and then we asked him if we we're going to make a little film with him for a video. And he says, it's totally cool. Then he turned around and said, please wait a moment. We promote safety. So he went to go get his um, bicycle helmet. <laughs> I mean, in the middle of Swaziland, half in the bush, totally amazing. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got his helmet on. Double sweet safety first. <laughs> We just love this experience. The fact that you have a dude on a bicycle showing you to your campsite just adds to the amazing experience we had at Mulwenya. Yes. <laughs> and you didn't fall. I didn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> If I had fallen, I made a bad video. It would have made a great video. <laughs> People love drama. <laughs> it should have more viewers. Exactly. <laughs> you heard him, guys. Get some more viewers. So click that like button, click that subscribe button. We'd love your support. Tell us about these huts that we've seen everywhere in Swaziland so far. These huts are. Used the in our homes, some of our homes have these huts. Okay. Yes. Do you call them these huts in Siswati we call them Kuka standards? When you say Kuka standards, you say kneel down and pray. Ah got you. Okay, got you. Right. Yes. Yes. So they were they were the way they were built where they have small doors, short doors like this. Oh. If you if you get in, ah, I run praying the twice ah. and yes. <laughs> Yeah, there is our hearts that our forefathers will use. Lovely. Very much. Enjoy yourself. Sure. Thank you. See you maybe tomorrow. Yes. Sure. <laughs> All right. Thanks for waiting. Check it out. The bicycle dude did the handshake as well. Milwenya had the most amazing walking trails where you could get up close and personal with the animals. It was truly a magnificent experience. We saw impala. We saw zebras, or should I say zebras. We saw loads of vinyala. As you see here, we have a female vinyala. And of course we have Pumba, which is a warthog that visited at our campsite. I love this. The best spot to, to edit. Ooh, here he comes. So we're just walking on a hippo trail. We've got about five, six different types of birds. And we heard all this commotion. We're right close to a little water hole. And we find a croc. Lo and behold, we look behind us. There's a mini pool about a half a meter away from my legs as I'm talking to you. So this croc looks about, maybe about three meters. And it's just chilling. Get going. When we 
we're just outside our campsite massive trees quite a lot of wildlife down there loads of water loads of water that's really cool we like water And this is some interesting facts for our landy lovers out there. So pause and read if you want. We're all packed up. We are ready to hit the road. We're gonna do a little bit of a game drive in this park. This is our fifth day that we've been here and we can do a bit of shopping, get a couple little things and we're gonna try and find another campsite or park around here. We've got something in mind but we're not too sure what it's what it's all about. Oh, she's so tired. yesterday with the fans. got Steph helping a guy on the side of the road. We haven't gotten too far out of our lodge going on to the next one um, and found this guy just landed in the, the ditch so Steph's helping out.
Welcome to Khlani. into reception quickly and then we're gonna hit up at camp. And we're gonna look for the best spot. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely much drier in the north than where we were in the south. Wow. So why are you taking out your compass? Um just to see which way is west and east so we know which way to set up our tent for the shade or the sun and especially our solar because there's no power here. Okay, legit, what are you doing? No, 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 legit, this is where, so the sun's gonna set there. So that means in the afternoon, this won't be in the shade. Khlani's waterhole is what truly made this place magic. It was just a hive of activity. Quite an active waterhole. Oh, look at this. We've got rhino as well. Those are white rhino. You can see by how square the lip is at the bottom. We've got Nyala. We've got water bucket just making their way out back. Sun setting. And we've got a water. Ah, there we go. Water as well. Is super special. We were just about to make our way to our camp. What are we eating tonight, love? We are having steak, leftover rice because we ate made way too much, and some leftover green spinach. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. But before we do that, we're going to go find the night jar. Yeah, we've got a couple of night jars that have been haunting us. We hear them so often, but we haven't yet laid our eyes on it. So what a great way to end the day. So we found a marabou stalk nesting site. It's just one of the several trees around here that have plenty of stalks in them. Hopefully these guys take off and we get a little bit of action here. There we go. Ooh. That's it. Oh, there we go. There goes another one. This park is pretty cool. You have loads of birds and stuff. It's just a couple of irritations for us. Badly marked roads. Can't get to the lines. You only need to get to the can only get to the lines if you take a gang tour, which we find a bit ridiculous. And we can't find elephants. Can't find elephants. Uh, it's supposed to be a big far park with art buffalo, <laughs> so it's a big four park. Um so yeah. So we're moving off. We're going to try and find something else.
Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and join our adventure.